So imagine this, you're opening a Power Query model somebody else built, and there's not a single comment to help you out. You find yourself in a maze with complex formulas. How are you supposed to make sense of all of that? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I add comments to my queries, so they actually help you. And at the end, I'll also share a sneaky trick that makes your commenting even better. Your colleagues are going to love you. Trust me. So there are two ways to add comments in the M language. One is for single lines. The second one is for multi-line comments. But I'm going to teach you a bit more. So what do these look like? Well, suppose that we're commenting on a calendar table. Let's first talk about single line comments. So single line comments always start with two forward slashes. Power Query treats everything that follows two forward slashes on the same line as part of the same comment. But instead of typing manually, there is an easier way. So in this calendar table here, if I look at the advanced editor, we see, if I make it a little bit bigger, that there is no comments in here. It's only the code that the calendar created. Now, the easiest way to add a comment is to, let's for example, say we have a quarter number here. I can go to the step itself, do a right click and press properties, and you'll get a pop-up box here. Well, here you can write anything that you like. So I could say, these are three months, the quarter concerns three months uh, all give, that all have received an index number. There are four quarters in a year. Now, what happens if I press OK? So when I press OK, you're going to find that a new symbol appears next to your reply step. Let's find out. So I'm going to press OK. Now, here's an I. And if I hold, hover my mouse over this step, you'll find that the comment that I just wrote appears here as a pop-up. That's not the only thing, though. If you go to the advanced editor, and I make everything a little bit bigger, you'll find that just before the step that we were talking about, the insert quarter number, that this line here has been created. So what you can see here, this line starts with two of the forward slashes. The forward slashes indicate the start of a comment, and everything that follows on that same line belongs to that same comment. Basic like that. If you don't want to add it at the step over here, you can also just manually do it. I could, for example, say just after this step, I'm going to add two forward slashes. This is my second comment. And also when you press done here, you'll find that the information icon appears for that step too. And even now you can go to properties and edit it here. So to use your interface gives you a quite a convenient way to add those single line comments. And best of all, you don't have to go to the advanced editor then. Great. Let's talk about multi-line comments. So what if you need a longer comment or you want to explain multiple things at once? That's where multi-line comments are useful. For multi-line comments, you can use a forward slash and an asterisk as the start of your comment. And then you need an asterisk and a forward slash to indicate the end of a comment. And if you do that, Power Query will treat everything in between those as part of the same comment. So that's very useful if you have multiple lines and you don't want to repeat the forward slashes. However, it's also useful for another purpose. Let me show you. So first of all, let's say we want to have a multi-line comment. We could come here. I'm going to make things a little bit bigger. And well, this is a single line. And if I need more lines, I would normally have to go here and paste it. And then perhaps there is also a third line. So by doing this, here we go. The only trouble is we have to keep using the forward slashes here. Well, to use a multi-line comment, we could replace the second forward slash here with a asterisk. We're not going to need these forward slashes any longer, but we also need to indicate the end of a multi-line comment with a asterisk and then also by adding a, a forward slash. So as you can see here, all of these three lines belong to the same comment and they were indicated with the part that starts here and we end it right there. We can press OK. Now, if we look here and go to properties, you'll find that all of the comments here are available again in the user interface. Now, that's pretty good. Now, here's another trick I want to show you. So far, we have only added comments to each of the applied steps. But I like adding comments elsewhere as well to document my queries. 
let's say at the advanced editor here, we want to comment the entire code because it's a calendar table that's a bit too complex. What I like doing is at the very start here, I could paste something like the following. I could say this calendar table is used for fiscal calendars that end in, well, let's say March 2024, uh, March of each year. So I can add a general description in the top. What I also like is having a change log. So I could say on the 6th of November, Rick created a script. Then on the 26th of November, Rick added descriptions to, well, as you can see, this was from something else, but I added descriptions to each of the applied steps. Now in the future, if I want to update my code, I can then simply add a line here that explains more of what we've been changing and what this query is about. Now, I highly recommend doing that because whenever somebody then goes into your query, they can understand a bit more from everything you explain. Just note though, after we do this, we can press done, but it will not show you an information icon here. Why is that? Well, the reason is each of these applied steps refers to a single variable in the let statement. However, the comment that I added here was even before the let statement. So everything that you have here is not so clear. So to signal that there is more, if you want, you could add like a comment saying, open the advanced editor for detailed comments. That will give you an information button here. People will know that they can go here to see more. And then I think everybody is happy. Hopefully you learned something new here. If you did, let me know what, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh -huh. Uh, 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 uh,